Yo, what's up, Iconic Hoops fam? Uh, this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to pull all NBA data, um, player game logs, team game logs. Uh, I'm not gonna go super in-depth for every type. You can kind of do your own research and get that, but here's a quick start on uh, how you might go about it. Let's get going. All right, before you do anything, if you don't know how to use Python or R or whatever, um, you probably need a more 101 tutorial. I can do that too. If you're interested, let me know, but go download Anaconda uh, and use Spider if you don't know what that is. Again, more 101, but anaconda.com, link is below for the download. Download that. You're gonna then, with that comes with this package or this software called Spider, this IDE where you put in your Python code super basic stuff for those of you who already know what this stuff is um, but let's get to the NBA stuff NBA underscore API I used to use NBA underscore pi on github um, that doesn't work for me anymore I don't know why I couldn't get that to work out but I spent quite a bit of time yesterday trying to figure it out anyway NBA underscore pi how to install a package again more 101 concept but for this tutorial just go to terminal or anaconda prompt. When you download anaconda, you get this anaconda prompt, which is basically just another terminal. Make sure it says anaconda prompt right here. Then you just do pip install. Can you see that? Pip install NBA API. NBA underscore API. You hit enter. It'll do some stuff. Let's see what happens when I hit enter. I should already have it. So yeah, already satisfied. All right, so now open up Anaconda. This is what Anaconda looks like. Uh, hit launch on Spider. I already have an instance running, so you'll get Spider to come up. It'll probably be blank with the template. And yeah, with that, hopefully you didn't run into any environment issues. If you do, let me know. I can help you out there. Um, you import NBA API, run that. Now, this is just an example from the GitHub repository. Uh, you just import this function. Make sure custom headers is set to this. I will include this in the description below. Also, I can link you to some support places that I spent a few hours yesterday figuring it out. But this is important. It won't pull from the internet if this doesn't happen. Um, and then player info, you just run that. And yeah, should be quick. You need to do the dot get data frame again python 101 this is not that course so um i'll just send you this file on google drive iconic hoops newsletter uh you can type this all from youtube or i can just include the file into a google drive that you'll get if you're on my newsletter so yeah this file plus the data that i actually pull it's gonna be uh on my newsletter so you can go check that out but yeah these are just the endpoints, NBA API stats, endpoints, team game logs, player game logs, player career stats. Um, just import all these. Again, they're just, you, there's a lot more. Uh, you can go to GitHub. Let me actually find that NBA underscore API GitHub. I'll link this below too. I just want to show you what this looks like. Um, NBA. So yeah, this gives you basically everything you need uh, to go about it on your own. I just want to, you know, give this little video example, basic usage. You can get all the endpoints as well. It'll show you, um, just play around in this GitHub repository. Yeah, and then, like I said, this code basically can get all the team game logs. Again, I make this season string for 1984 to say 2019, you can get all player box scores. And as you can see right here, 801, 810,000 rows um, of data. Put that into a CSV. That CSV will be available on the newsletter. And that's about it. I mean, very basic, very easy. And you can use Excel to play around with the data. You can use Python. I can do more data analytics exercises in Python on how to play around with the data. Um, for example, my clean logs function basically puts it all into 
a nice little state. I have advanced stats that I wrote my own functions for here, um, so I don't need to scrape. Um, I, I don't really know how to get it from NBA's API right now, all the advanced stats, so I just did it myself. Uh, and yeah, I've done a lot of data science projects with this stuff too, so I'll get to explaining all those. If you're curious, have any questions, or want more of this, uh, let me know below. The links and everything you need are in the description. I appreciate you who are coming from my newsletter. If you're just coming here from YouTube search, sign up for the newsletter, link below. Uh, this plus a lot of other stuff to come. Appreciate you, thank you, and peace out.